Welcome back to Honey Badger 3D Print and Paint. Today, we're looking at the finished Hannibal Lecter, but before we do that, roll those credits. Right, so you'll see in the previous video, we had the uh, printed and then primed Hannibal Lecter. <coughs> so if you remember, about four years ago, I printed this. Zoom. Little Hannibal Lecter. And I've always liked this model. Um, some models, even though they're small, you just don't it's just like them, they're ones you keep, and it's always been on my shelf, and I've always liked it. So recently, I thought, let's do it again, but let's make it a little bit bigger. So here we have life-size Hannibal Lecter. So you might have seen recently, we did a live stream where we did a hangout and some painting. James was painting the uh, Back to the Future train. I finished painting this. Um... I really enjoyed painting this. It's a little bit different to this one as I painted this one accurate to the film. So you'll see he's around his neck, he's got part of an orange jumpsuit and he's actually in the film in a straight jacket, which is gray with a beige collar. Now, this detail wasn't actually on the model. Um, on the model, you'll see from this smaller one, it's actually just all smooth. Um, there's no no material detail in it. So I basically, I wanted it to look more film accurate. So I added them. Although it looks like there's not actually any texture to it. <coughs> um, but scaling it up full size looks a lot more menacing. Now, I really enjoyed painting this. I did a time lapse of me painting this. So let's have a look at that now. As you can see, this probably took me about, let's say, probably about six hours to do. Um, the time lapse we did, or the time lapse I did, was um, instead of just continuously filming, it was a photograph every minute. So that's why it's a hell of a lot shorter and you don't see all the detail. Um, but as you look around this, I was really happy with how the skin tone came out. I was really happy with the eyes. Um, it's just a cool model. I was happy with the blood splatter I got on the face. Um, now, I think, if I, if I can remember correctly, this was from Colts 3D, I believe. And I, I did check on there, and there is one on now, and I think it is this one, but as I said again, I bought this like four or five years ago, and I can't remember, but there is one on there that looks like it probably is this. What we'll do now is we'll do a quick close up so you can see it in more detail. Thank you. 
as you can see, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the skin tone on this. The way I do skin tone now, um, there's another channel called Ground Affected. We love Ground Affected here on this channel. Um, some of his painting tutorials are stunning. One of them is how he does his skin tone. Um, I've started doing it. He's, he's the way he does his skin tone, which is the... Um, what set is it called? I think it's called Fairy Flesh. Um, set you can buy. Um, and that's what I use. You'll see, like I first did it, my first try was Brad Pitt. And I was I was more than happy the way that came out. Um, so I've did, done it again. I tried it on Gandalf. Really happy with that. And then I did it on this. So... This is one that I really love because it looks so menacing. Um, I'm thinking about putting it on the bedside table in my spare bedroom from when my mother-in-law comes to stay. That would make me immediately happy. What I did last night is because I knew I was bringing this here today, I had this on the coffee table in my living room. When I finished it last night, I bought it and put it on the coffee table, showed the wife. She was like, yeah, she didn't care. Um, but this morning when I come downstairs, I opened the living room door and this was sort of facing me on the coffee table really low and for a split second, my art completely jumped because it I didn't straight away realise it was him, but it looked like someone was crouching on the floor. Um, and my heart stopped for a second and then pounded insanely. And I was like, that's stupid because I put that there last night. So it does have the desired effect and hopefully it'll have a much better effect on my mother-in-law. We'll wait and see. But, thanks for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We've got a lot more of these sort of models coming out now. Um, we've done a hell of a lot of printer reviews for quite a while. Um, and because of moving and setting up a new workshop and everything, I haven't done a lot of models. And the last couple of models I've done have been really big and long. Um, so we're getting back to what we started this channel for, which was printing big models and painting them. So this is the first one I've finished for a while. Super happy with it. So again, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks a lot. Bye.